Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have an update on the instabilities, blue screens of death that some users have been seeing on Intel processors. So, first of all, if you might be affected by it or you're not sure, what you need to look at, you can right click on the Start button on your computer, go to the Task Manager, and in the Task Manager, go into the performance and look at the CPU. So if the CPU on the upper right, the number of the CPU is um, in the 13900 and 14900K, KS and KF, and also non-K processors, uh, the processors are 60 wa 65 watts or higher in power requirement Intel does say there is a flaw. It apparently goes into the microcode that asks for incorrect voltages. And the voltages are higher than supposed to and damages the CPU. So they are urging everybody to make sure that you either contact the manufacturer or, uh, you know, which is a little dumb personally because you have to know that stuff. If you buy a PC that has these chips in it, you don't necessarily know about it. They're not planning a recall. They're planning a microcode bug fix. And they say that the microcode bug fix will come in the uh, mid-August uh, period. So in a couple of weeks from now. So um, they affect the Raptor Lake series of processors and apparently a lot more processors than they thought at the beginning. So if you have one of those new CPUs and you get a lot of crashes and blue screens, uh, it's almost as if they're telling you you should be very careful and using your PC and maybe not using it at all. They say that the damage it causes is irreversible, meaning if your chip blows up because of that, it's over. And um, I do think that Intel should recall the chips personally, should recall anything that has that. It is unacceptable that a billion dollar company that just treats users like that and say, oh, well, you know, you got to know about it and you got to make sure that you stop using it or, you know, do changes. Uh, this requires people that know, you know, a lot more about their PC than the average user. Uh, which is always what I think about these companies are completely disconnected with the reality of what the PC world is all about. Um, some had commented on the channel that there's a possibility of voltage being too high, and um, a few of you have commented, and a lot of users on some of the forums have been talking about it. So a microcode fix in mid-August is coming, so uh, we're going to wait for that. But uh, definitely be very careful if you have a, a one of those uh, Raptor Lake CPUs that are in the 13900, 14900K, KS, KF, and even those that don't even end with the K. It seems that a big chunk of them uh, incorrectly ask for voltages that are too high, which da damages the CPU. So uh, resulting, of course, in crashes, freezes, and blue screens on uh, these machines. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.